What prompted you to want to make this car? Or to real? Well, a buddy of mine, had, he bought the car down at, out of Keats. Now, he lived down in Meltonville. He started collecting 58s before they got popular. Yeah. And he had three 58 convertibles at the time that I got this one. That, how, how long was the process of the restoration? Oh, I probably spent about a year and a half on each one of them. Yeah. It's a, it's a time consuming process. But both of them had every nut, bolt, and screw out of them. Wow. And they're identical, except I ended up buying the engine that had the three deuce set up on it, and I took my four barrel engine out and put the three deuce set up engine in it and sold nice. the street rod I bought that had the three deuce set up. Yeah. So if you go through those pictures, you can see a lot of different pe colored pictures, pieces. Yeah. <laughs> I think I counted it. Figured up that one day, about six different pieces off of six different cars went into that one mine. Wow. Floors, fenders, doors, floor pans, dashes. Had to replace the dash in it because it had originally had a padded dash sitting out there with any top on it. The moisture put held into that pad just right on top of the dash and down on both of them. Now, this, uh, this vehicle, what kind of motor does it have in it? It's got a 348 tri power. Which was, I think, at that time was advertised for old 380 horses. Wow. <laughs> how, how powerful engine. For that. Yeah. <laughs> and now, Kenny, you, you used to you used to work for Fuller Chevy, right? And or you, you did body work for Fuller Chevy. Yeah, I did. Before I retired, yeah. Okay. But like I say, I retired. 99, December 31st. December 31st, 1999 was my last. Pay is a steady job. <laughs> Did you ever do anything here at Beloit? Here at Beloit Motors? Well, our chair when they before, before any GM dealer could order any GM Parts. line apart. But uh, back when Lester Hansen and Herman Eck and Kelly Kimmer's dad mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know, uh, Gene Kimmer, they owned it at the time. We bought all our Buick and GMC parts through them, and nice. later on in the years, where he's a GM dealer, you could order any GM part. Yeah. But there was a time when a, a Chevrolet wheel bearing and a Buick or a Cadillac wheel bearing, same bearing, but the price book has got a lot of difference in price. Yeah. <laughs> if you could buy, drive a Cadillac, you could pay more money for parts. <laughs>